they sent us something awesome and cool that me and Carl's gonna love, and I think we're gonna love it too. chicken that stayed in the run a lot. Yeah, the color of their yolk is usually an indication of what their diet is. The richer their diet, <laughs> the like, richer their yolk. really orange one right there. It's probably a neck and neck. You reckon? Yes. Because they do a lot of foraging? Yes. A whole lot. All right, we got our eggs cracked. Get me a fork. Scramble them up. So orange. Good color. I mean, I'd, I would like to do an experiment based on <laughs> store bought eggs and the color of the fresh farm eggs. The color is just unreal difference. And the it flavor! Is. If you've never eaten a fresh farm egg, you don't know what you're missing. It just almost doesn't even taste like the same food. Alright, so what are we doing today? We gotta do a Farm chores. Well, and um, they have to be fed. Got to be fed. Is this our homemade strawberry jam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Then we got the big, big package in the mail from GQF. That's right. I'm gonna put that together. Good deal. I bet see. you might have a happy little girl. I bet so. I want to see what it looks like, how big it is, all that good stuff. So we got a big surprise from GQF that uh, I really wanna. I can't wait Work to see what it. it's going to look like. Yeah, me too. Because, me too. hint, hint, I'm kind of tired of totes. Yeah, I know you are tired of totes. <laughs> we all are tired of totes. So this will be exciting. We'll be exciting. We'll be exciting. And Mary Carl's having a buddy come over today. So when we get finished eating, I think I'll run over and pick her up. Okay. Um, I'm going to help you feed first. Okay. And then... I might leave it with you to put the package together. Okay. Because, as you know, I'm not real handy when it comes to putting things together. So, I don't know if I could offer much help. Your two weaknesses are post hole diggers <laughs> and putting things together. Putting things together. All right, you did your cornbread dressing. Yes, I did. Froze it. It's frozen, so it's going to be ready for Thanksgiving. Uh-huh. What about your macaroni and cheese? I'm thinking I probably need to go ahead and get it made. And, um, and I've read that I can freeze it too. So I'm thinking maybe this evening, if I'm not too tired, right? I'll go ahead and get it made. Okay. And, and let it, it says to cool it off completely before you freeze it. That makes sense. So I need to do it early enough where I've got time to right. let it, you know, settle down and. Good deal. Sounds like an awesome day. Those eggs are going to give me energy to do a lot of things. The other thing is, is I want to check the garden. And I think I'm going to have to run the drip and fertilize today. And I'll probably run the hoss plow through there and see if there's any weeds. Well, I'll try to help you. And, okay. Um... All right, let's get your orchids in the greenhouse. Now, got the herbs looking fabulous. Looks good, looks good. We've been enjoying the greenhouse. We have. I think leave the door open, you're going to shut it for now. Uh, I'm going to shut it. Okay, you got to remember to open it back up, though. It's going to get warm in there. It's going to be supposed to be 80 degrees today. Yep. In November. Let's go feed. What's up, boys? What's up, girls? Do you think they just lay over there feel like... I guess they want breakfast in bed this morning. Y'all over there whining. Out here fussing this morning. Let me show y'all what we got in the mail. Look what a fan sent the baby girls. Look at here, girls. I say girls. Boys, too. The well, goat family. Yeah, we don't discriminate. <laughs> this is, well, this can be for the girls and the boys can have the old ones. Okay. I, I think that's the way it should that's be. That's the way it should be. Look. Look this what you awesome. got. This can, would be three pounds and fourteen ounces. It's almost four pounds of animal crackers. Can I get a test bite? Yeah. 
Let's see. You can. Let's get this seal off. Look at them licking their lips. Capri said, move over, bud. <laughs> look, look at Boopsie. They're hugging. <laughs> Give them all a test run and see what Give they think. Give them a test run here. One for Fifi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One for Boot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're thinking the fans already. All right, turn around. And Capri. Oh, she wants us to bring her herd. Bows over here. Not right? happening, girl. <laughs> How about the boys? You think they ought to have one? Yeah. Right. You know they got their shenanigans going on. Yeah. Look at Dapper. Did y'all get one? Good morning, alarm system. I'm about to get you. Y'all go on over here. Go on, I'm coming. You know what? This thing's so big, I don't know if it's going to fit down in here. <laughs> we might have to get a feed barrel for the animal cracker. Look at the difference. Wow. All right, girls. Here's your breakfast. Put you a few minerals on top. Looks like Ozella's gonna. Is that little old? Yeah. Man, she ain't little old no more. She's medium old. Look. Yeah, Mama's waiting on me to throw out some scratch this morning. Girls, y'all want to tell your fan thank you for sending the animal crackers. Y'all so appreciate them. I know it. Come on, let's go feed the alarm system and the O's. And the silkies, and the quackers, and we gotta let out our main man, Nugget. Y'all look how big Nugget's gotten. It seems like he grows a foot a week. What's up, Nug? Come on, buddy. Nugget won't. He he wants some scratch this morning. That's what it is. Let's go get him some. What's up, Thomas? What's up, Big Tommy? Alright. Yeah. I won't give them any more of those. Yeah. Hey, he gotta have his scratch first. Oh, never mind. Here he comes. Somebody told me something really funny. What's that? They say, you know what kind of coffee nugget would like? <laughs> what kind? Espresso! <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That is funny. Espresso. Espresso nuggo. Nugget, you gonna run? I might. I might get going this morning. <laughs> you ain't fast enough. Here he goes. Look at him. And he's just trotting. Did he find some scratch? Yeah. There he goes. We own it this morning. We are on it. <laughs> That's almost full stretch. That was pretty close. Oh, he's gonna run straight through the chickens. Here we come around. I just wish I knew what they thought when they see that big thing coming at them going 500 miles an hour. <laughs> They're probably thinking he needs to cut back on his espresso. Guys, whoa, boy. Hey, a, look. He's espresso. Yeah, that's probably what they're thinking. <laughs> he needs to cut back on his espresso. It's, it's working miracles, isn't it? Look at him. Hey, I drink coffee every morning. Maybe I ought to start drinking espresso so I can go like that. Whoa, oh, he's watch out, right chicken. Up for the chicken. If I run my Look out, Scott. He goes, he didn't he move. Heart attack, but Scott didn't move? No. Uh, Scott. But if he's the boss. Nugget runs by. If Nugget runs by and he doesn't move, but if you run by him, he acts like a. Yes. You are hilarious. I wonder what determines what path he takes. I think he just runs until he gets close to something. <laughs> and then it's an obstacle, so he either has to oh, stop. Oh, he went all the way around that time. He's he seen jump. He either has to stop 
or turn around or go around something. That's, I think that's what he does. Oh yeah, turn this way. Mm, that's Turbo Nug. Everybody says he looks like the Road Runner. A Road Runner? Yeah. <laughs> here are the official Nugget shirts right here. The Grassic. So uh, when I was coming up with a design, I couldn't get this out of my head, the Jurassic Park theme. So we got Nugget shirts out. Uh, link below if you're interested in those or check out our Teespring shop. Look how he's losing his hair around his yeah, face and neck. Blue. It turns blue, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's already blue right now. He loves his hook. Yep, it's starting to turn blue. And I noticed the other day when he was standing up against his fence, uh -huh. how much taller he's gotten. Yeah, he's getting. You know, we see him every day. So it's kind of hard to realize that he's still growing. But when you see that neck stretched out, yeah, he's tall. You realize. And he's so sweet. Look at those feet. Okay, like this is my hand. Compared to his. Move yours, Bo. Look at that. Big, ain't they? About the same size as my hand. It, it's bigger than my hand, look. Big. Look at it. Why are y'all talking about my feet? Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> he knows that. Everyone Why are y'all talking about my feet? Yeah. He's so sweet. Most people would probably eating. think he was evil just by a picture of him, but... Oh, they look intimidating. Yeah. He's so sweet. Look Many at people have asked us if, if all emus are this way. Well, I really couldn't tell you if all emus are this way. Our emus this way, but we raised him from a, a baby. So I would imagine if they're in the wild, they wouldn't be as, you know, he's so associated with people. All right, let's go take care of the rest of these critters. He doesn't want to call Nugget. He doesn't want nugget. me. I need more hugs. Come on, get up. I want to get some hay for the girls. You going to go check for eggs? All right, I'm going to give them some hay. You got three? Yep. One pretty blue one, a cream one, and a brown one. Well, that is a pretty blue one. I wonder who's been laying it. It's a uh, um, bluebell. Oh, it is a bluebell? It is blue blue. I don't know if we can show up on the camera or not. The sun is shining right on us, but it is blue blue. They're right, popcorn. Popcorn says she lays a little tiny blue egg. She does. Not that blue, it's light blue. All right, cool. Let's go check out the rest of these All right, big boys. Come get you. Hey. <laughs> yeah. What up, Toppy? Tipper, Tipper. And Mighty Joe. Look how loud he's sitting. She looks like she's like she took after Nugget. Look how loud he's sitting, just like Nugget does. Yo. What's that? I see that. Oh, cantaloupe. He's about as sweet as goose as I've seen. He is so laid back. He is so laid he back. He's a male. I think that's just the characteristic of a Sebastopol. I think so too. And that is by far my favorite breed of goose is the Sebastopol. Look, not loud, laid back, I mean, he beautiful. I just love it. Hey, Carl, would you mind flipping the switch on the water for me? Sure. Thank you. Hey, uh, Nuggets feed. Yeah? We feed him chicken feed. Chicken feed, and he gets, um, well, they make different percentages of laying pellets. I was going to say, it's a certain chicken feed we feed. And so it's everybody can eat it. And 18% laying pellet. And it's something to do with the fiber, too, right? Yeah, and, and the amount of fiber that we feed is less than 10%. Okay. And the people that raised emus where we got nugget from is the one who gave us those recommendations. Yes, they told us what we needed as far as fiber, protein, um, amounts of each, and we found a feed that... that qualifies yeah. all those categories and so it's just kind of a, a universal feed that works for all of our critters. That's right. We got some 
growing ups in here. We do got some growing ups in here. Look at the silkies. Aren't they beautiful? So oh, beautiful. Hey. Huh? We got a peeper. Aren't they beautiful, Nugget? <laughs> this one? Uh huh. Its feathers flip up like a sizzle, uh -huh. or frizzle, uh -huh. flip straight up like this. Uh huh. And it's silky like a silky. Are your Alabama silkies in here? They're in the other two. They're in the other two. Okay. These are your silkies. Mm -hmm. These cool. are ones that she's hatched and, and a couple of Americanas. You want to go see the Polishes? Yep. I got to take them their water, so. Okay. Look at all these girls. Look and, at here, look at here. And boys, yeah. Here's some new Polishes. So the Alabama silkies are in here. What that is this? Yours. That's Daffy. This Sassy. is yours? That's uh -huh. Mary Carl. Oh, it's beautiful. This is your this is Alabama, ain't it? Yeah, it's an Alabama. This one right here is Alabama. It's a pretty ain't it beautiful? Oh, is this one? No. This is yours? Yeah. Hey baby. That you are a pretty color. color. These are the Polishes we got. They're turning out to be really pretty. They are beautiful. Is this the Bobby Porto one? Oh uh, no. Okay. This is the Bobby Porto. They look very similar. Okay, yeah, you can tell. That's the Bobby. Her name is Bobby. How special. How special. That's Mary Carl's little... Friend. One of her favorites. Yeah, Belle is super sweet. And Belle might be a girl, Belle might be a boy. I found these little eggs in uh -huh. here. And you thought it was a boy for the longest time, yes. didn't you? But Belle hasn't crowed. That's Ollie. Mm -hmm. Ollie the pit duck. Yeah, he was the one that had the bow tie on. He's the one that wore the bow tie. He's the one that somebody gave us. Nugget, will you run the alarm system out? This is my pool anyway. Little purple pool. Little purple pool. Look at the feathers floating on the backside. You know, it's 60 degrees. <laughs> Well, That's it's pretty cool. Kind of chilly for me to be in. <laughs> it ain't for Nugget. Look at that. That's amazing. And we did try that trough. Yeah. People had asked, why don't we use the trough anymore? Nugget didn't approve of the trough. He didn't care for the trough. He never got in it. Don't like the big swimming pool either. Doesn't like the big swimming pool, so he's either going to have to stay the size he is or learn to like a bigger pool. Or try to squeeze in him. So, you see, he's starting to break it on Yeah, this one pool's a couple years old. It's seen its better day. Maybe I should pick one up before the season officially ends if Maybe I see Maybe you can find one on sale. Whoa! I said that Arlo will probably help me, or Nugget, but look who's actually helping me. I mean, I actually got the boss lady, and it looks like Bear may chill out with me. But the boss lady for sure. But let me show you what we just got. But our good friends over there at GQF who make the most awesome incubators in the world sent us a message and said, hey, look, we have something that we think that'll help you guys out and that Mary Crawl is going to absolutely love. And this is their chick brooder. So I'm not quite for sure how all this thing works or what it looks like when we get it put together. But... Let's check this thing out because I think this part of it is, this is the heater. This is the heater section of it. So hopefully I got some directions in here. As most of y'all know that do follow us, we tend to put all our chicks in this, what well, used to be our dining room, but turned into our Mind of Miracles media room where we watch TV and stuff. But now we, over the years have turned it into like the incubating room and we'll have the incubators in there which we just moved in the last video to the barn but we'll have makeshift chick brooders out of totes in there with heat lights so they must have saw one of our videos I hear stuff falling and decided that hey we want you guys to check out our system and think it may be a little bit better for y'all. All right, this thing's awesome.
Let me tell you, this thing is awesome. That looks pretty cool. It is so awesome. All right, so does it have a light bulb? Yes. It, 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 and it, you can control the temperature? Yeah, control temperature. And it tells you in the instructions what to put on. Oh my gracious, this is cool. Now, it told me to put this blue light bulb in first. Uh -huh. And it came with a clear one, so I put the blue one in. It says it's an attraction bulb. I don't know what that means. Maybe <laughs> maybe you should explain that to Mary Carl because she's the one that's going to be using this. Yeah, probably so. Go. You know what this means. I can't tell you how many chicks it says it holds. No, I mean, do you know what this means? What's that? We don't currently have anything in the hatchery. I know. Or in the incubator. There's nothing in the incubator. We have a GQF incubator that's mm. completely empty. Mm -hmm. I forgot how many eggs it holds, but uh -huh. our daughter is going to insist that we hatch something. I know. Um, if we hatch something, it better be something we want. Something very special. Something we want. This thing, there's, those are feed troughs and water troughs on the outside. Of what? It. How do they stick their head through there? You adjust it right here. This piece here. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. This up. Yes, yes, yes. I see. It's just little wing nuts uh -huh. that allow it to there you go. come up and down. Yep, like that. Oh, and you can, you can adjust it depending on what size they are. Now, it says it'll hold 100 chicks for the first two to three weeks. So, you know, we never have that many. Right. But, I mean, so this should be plenty of ample space for anything we want to raise. Um, Y'all don't normally see me dance, but you might because... I don't have to have totes in the house anymore. <laughs> Until they get bigger. But I guess they get big enough they can go in the brooder, the That's big right. brooder we, we built. We have a brooder that we built. Yeah. Our biggest thing was like a like an incubator box. Um, I wouldn't call it an incubator box, but after the incubation yeah. period, right. chicks need heat and they need to be enclosed. So it says that the troughs for, for water or feed. So That is cool. So there's nothing inside. Look, now, I want to show you this cool thing. You see the cage. Mm -hmm. And it says that's ample wire for chicks or ducks. Now, if you use quail, it says you got to put uh, paper towels down there for a few weeks. So I want to show you this now. This is what you're going to like. This will come here. You got to see this. This is what you're going to like right here. I might take this off. This is how you clean it. Oh, hey, you know what? What? That's so easy. A 10-year-old can do it. I think you're right. We don't have to hear no excuses now, do we? No, nope. no, mama, I can't do that. I'm not big enough. I can't tote that. She got this covered. Got this covered. This going to be like Christmas for a kid. This is awesome. It really, really is Look awesome. Hey, Angor, come check this out. There's no chicks in there at this time. Now, her buddy's here, so she hasn't seen it yet. Well, and so when she sees it, she's gonna be super excited. Now, I did tell her a little bit ago that I had walked by it and I thought it was super nice. What, um, that that was before I even saw the feature. What we need to figure out is is what we want to hatch. If y'all have anything special out there you think we ought to hatch, let us know. Let us know in the comments. I mean, and we can't hatch alligators, we can't hatch snakes, you know, stuff like that, but. Chick, we're, we're, chicks we're, we can pretty, have. We're pretty open to suggestions. Now, there's been some chickens that we talked about before, like some death layers. Oh, she likes, she loves modern games. Modern games. They make a full-size modern game that we've never raised before. We've talked um, about those. Yeah. So, I mean, we got a, we've got an extensive list, and we'll probably get her to make her own list, and we we'll can let y'all know what. Or she can start gathering some silky eggs if she wants to. Yeah, we got to hatch something. I mean... Yeah. Gosh, you don't have something this nice and not not. That's right. You can't, it. you can't have a, a Ferrari sitting in your garage and not drive it now. That's right. Universal Bruder 534. Box. Yeah, 534. 0534. And they make stands for this. They make a three-tier oh. and a five-tier. What, well, you we can, can put more of yeah, these Yeah, on? you can stack them. Somebody's birthday is the end of December. Oh, that'd be a good birthday present. It's not mine either. <laughs> or mine. <laughs> But this is cool. Digital thermostat. I mean, it's awesome. That is cool. It says it goes up to 104 degrees. I think that's what I read. I think this is going to be a game changer. This is going to be a game changer. You want to come see this brooder? Yeah. Come on. Ooh. Look at him. I like it. You put feed and water in the troughs. But how do they, oh, I see how they get their heads through. So well, you can adjust it depending on, you don't want them to fall out. So you can. It is how you get in it. Just like that. 
Oh, no, both of them come off. And here's your built-in heater right there. Ooh. And it said put this blue light in there because it is an attraction light. Hmm. You ever heard of that? No. Me either. And this slides open. That's how you get them in and out if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I like it. Pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah. All right. We haven't got rain since the hurricane still. I've been running my drip irrigation every now and then. I ran it last week. The last time I ran it last week, I put some, uh, had a bottle of fish emulsion that I ran through it. Yeah. That's what's so great about the drip is you can run fertilizers through it and it goes directly to the roots. Another thing that I like to run through it is this micro boost from Hoss. This is all the stuff that your fertilizers don't give it. All these essential minerals. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I've had great success with this micro boost. The garden loves it. What's great about micro boost is, is you really can't burn your plants with it. I just pour me a little bit in there for them show you guys how we do this drip irrigation real quick in the meantime look how beautiful this garden is looking we definitely gonna have some Thanksgiving collard greens no doubt about it all right what you want to do is you want to go and fill this thing up especially if you got any fertilizer in it like the Hoss 20 20 20 or fish emulsion or molasses or any water soluble fertilizer that micro boost you want to go ahead and fill this thing up because it's pressure regulated and you don't want to have to wait on it to fill up while hooking it up what you want to do now is you want to shake this thing good and get all that mixed in what's up pits y'all coming to help me like I said earlier, shake it like a Polaroid picture if we got to. We want it good and mixed up. Gonna hook this to our drip in. This goes to the garden. It's pressure regulated. Then we're going to screw in our water hose. There's my buddy Rhonda and Ruby. But this is a slow drip. It takes a while. It's not a fast irrigation system. This drip so it's, works off low pressure, so it does take a while for it to get all that goody, goodness out of it. Ain't that right, girls? I'm gonna show you how big things have gotten. Look at this lettuce. Isn't it big? Huge. Look at that. And look at here. This is my broccoli. I can't. I've never been successful at growing broccoli, but I think I may have that whoop this year. I think I'm gonna be good. This tat soy is looks like we could probably eat some of this. Honestly, oh, it's good. The salad green mix is getting really close. Really, really close. My kohlrabi got weeds coming in. We're gonna have to weed it again. Collard greens, we'll be able to pick these next week. We're gonna have collard greens next week. Turn it to weed, y'all. We weeded we this a few days ago. Coming right back in here. Y'all remember in the last video how short that garlic was? Look at it now. I mean, it near about all done come up. I see one plant, which would have been this one, that did not come up yet. Getting a little weeding done. I really wanted to put the trellis up for those English peas, but I feel like we're running out of time. You can see the sun over yonder, and it ain't but 2.30, and it's starting to sit behind them trees over there. And this is called Kill. It's actually at a neighbor's house, helping with the leaves. Mrs. Kakia, if y'all know, loves lawnmowers and tractors. So she ran over to the neighbor's house and is sucking up all her leaves for her. 
with the lawnmower. So that's why I'm in here by myself today. That's why I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that trellis up today. If we don't, we'll do it in the next video. If we don't, we'll just have to get it tomorrow. Now she's gonna tackle off our leaves. He <laughs> gave that woman a lawnmower or a tractor and she would be happy and be on it 24-7. I'm not, I'm not lying. And it's always been like that. And we've been together since 93. and they gonna love this macaroni and cheese. So that's what we're doing tonight is macaroni and cheese. If you live in the South and your Thanksgiving dinner does not consist of macaroni and cheese, you don't live in the South. <laughs> so we're gonna make a recipe that's got a little different ingredient in it. Number one, nutmeg. Number yeah. two, cayenne pepper. Sounds crazy, but it's delicious. It sounds crazy, but this is the recipe I like to use for our Thanksgiving macaroni and cheese. Well, actually, anytime macaroni and cheese but we're gonna make this one for thanksgiving and just like on the last video we'll put the recipe yeah in don't the try to keep up with it because i've already got my ingredients prepared and um i'm just gonna tell y'all what we're doing right and the ingredients will be down below and I, i'm gonna put on the website too so okay i've got my water on the heat uh -huh. to boil my noodles okay okay now, i'm not cooking this today i'm gonna freeze it and that might sound crazy but I'll boil my noodles, I'll put it all together, but I'm not gonna put it in the oven to cook it. Somebody had a question. What's that? that? I didn't know the answer to. Okay. When you go to cook it, do you thaw it out? Yes, you thaw it out. The same with your dressing. You thaw it out. Then you cook it. Then you cook it. Okay, That's that. I didn't know the answer to that. So I'm hoping they're watching. Yeah, you're gonna thaw it out um, in your refrigerator. I mean, it might take two days before Thanksgiving for it to thaw out, but thaw it out and in then the cook fridge. it according to, okay. just like it would be if you made it that day. Cook it for that amount of time. Okay. So I got my water going for my noodles. Okay. It calls for large elbow macaroni or seashells, whatever you like. Right. Um, the first thing I've got to do to prepare this white sauce is to melt my butter. So I think it's six tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna just um, get that melted. And then once this gets melted, you add your spices, which I will tell you, they are not your ordinary spices. There's dried mustard, there's cayenne pepper, there's nutmeg, there's salt, there's pepper. And y'all know what else is in this stuff? Worcestershire sauce. It does sound odd. It sounds odd, but um, it's became our favorite. It's not so spicy that kids wouldn't like it. Mary Carl loves it. It does have a little bit different flavor than your, you know, store-bought macaroni and cheese, right. but... Um, and don't let the nutmeg scare you because... It's not an you, overpower. Yeah, you're not going to taste nutmeg. No. It's just... It's just a hint of nutmeg. It's dip is what it is. There's a lot of dips in this um, recipe, and I, that's why we like it so much. All right, so when your butter gets melted, you're going to add all of these spices. So I'm going to pour all that in there, give it a little stir. Then add the flour. So it's kind of like a roux. Yeah, I mean, that's what a white sauce is, right. is a roux. But most of, I mean, the white sauce that I've always made until I came up with this one was just simply butter milk and flour that's all it was for my macaroni and cheese yeah. so you can imagine adding these spices is just gonna step it up a notch all right and you're supposed to stir this for two minutes until it's golden all right now we got that done we're gonna pour in the milk gradually whisk in the milk and you just do a little bit at a time 
That is three and a half cups of milk. Whole milk. And then you're gonna add the heavy cream. All right, here's our heavy cream. It is one and three quarter cup of heavy cream. And all I'm doing, I'm not trying to cook it right now. I'm just trying to get it in there and get it combined. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat up a little bit because we want to bring it to a boil. You're gonna whisk it occasionally just to keep it from burning on the bottom. Milk will scald easily. So, you know, let it sit here every few minutes, come back and whisk it a little bit. You'll continue to stir for about five minutes. So you see how it's like slightly thickened? That's after simmering and whisking for about five minutes. After it comes to a bowl, then just, you know, whisk it around and keep it from burning on the bottom for about five minutes until it's slightly thickened. And then turn off your heat. And then you're gonna add one of the magic ingredients, which is Worcestershire sauce. And it's two teaspoons. Two. And you'll stir this around. So once you get the Worcestershire sauce, your heat's off, uh -huh. you're gonna add your shredded cheese. Look at all that cheese. I shredded it so y'all wouldn't have to sit here and watch me, but. I mean, that's a macaroni and cheese right here. Now. And I also have diced, and we'll add the dice when we mix the macaroni with it. Okay. I put it all on one plate so I wouldn't have so much to clean up. It's, it's all the same thing, so I don't know what difference it makes. All right, so you're gonna stir that in. It's looking good though. It is looking look good. How, look how creamy and. I'm about to eat me a whole bowl by myself. Uh, this is for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and y'all might be wondering if I'm gonna eat Thanksgiving, and I am. I'm gonna eat Thanksgiving in moderation. All right, so we've got our noodles ready. And we'll just take our white sauce. Even if you weren't cooking it today, you would do this. Just pour your white sauce in with your noodles. Take the diced cheese that you have, the white and the yellow. Put it in with those hot noodles. And if you're freezing it, cool it completely. And voila, you can see how creamy it is. Doesn't that look wonderful? It's good. And we have two dishes down. Thanksgiving. Two dishes down for Thanksgiving. There's no reason to slave in the kitchen all day. I mean, I know people work and time's limited with kids and everything else, but just prepare one dish when you have a chance. You know what? You know what? This is just like me weeding and spraying the garden. What's that mean? Just do a little bit at a time. Yeah, just do a little bit at a time. Don't wait till the weeds get real tall. That's right. And you spend five hours out there trying that's, to get them. That's exactly right. Nobody has time to enjoy their, a lot of people only have that one day off to celebrate with friends and family and but nobody has time to slave in the kitchen all day. Don't right. make it stressful. We'll, ha we'll enjoy our day. The only thing we may add is if we got some collard greens. Oh well, that's got to be cooked. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Hey guys, if you're interested in that new Nugget shirt or any of our Cock Hill merchandise, check out that link right down below me and if you're interested in that gqf incubator or brooder box i'll put the link down there as well and also go check out some of our other videos and as always y'all be good